In this tutorial, we're gonna see how easy it is to update the firmware of the DJI mic system. And you need three things. The first thing you need, that is your DJI mic system with a receiver and the two transmitters. The next thing you need, that is your USB-C cable, so you can plug that one into the device to upgrade it. The next thing you need, that is the computer where you're gonna download the firmware from DJI's website and then upload it into the devices. The first thing we would like to do, that is to check the current firmware of the DJI mic system. So take out the receiver, if you close this one, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen, but we do that just for demonstrating purposes. Now swipe down on the receiver, slide to the side until you get to settings, tap that one, and then swipe all until you're gonna see the version one, tap that one, and this is where we're gonna see the version of this receiver. If you would like to see the version of the transmitter, just swipe once to the side, and here it's gonna be empty. That is just because the lid is closed and they are turned off. If we open up the lid, we're gonna see that it's populated with a firmware version of the DJI transmitters. Now we can compare that to what's actually available on DJI's website. So when you are on DJI's website, go to DJI Mic, click on Downloads, and here you can see the firmware for the receiver at the top, and then you can see the firmware for the transmitter in the middle. And then you can just compare to what you have here. If you now discover that you are on an old firmware, it's time to update. So the first thing we're gonna do that is to click download and the download is gonna start. And then we're gonna take the next file for the transmitters and download that as well. The first device you're gonna upgrade, that is the receiver. So take the receiver out of the case, then plug in the USB-C cable into the USB-C slot of the receiver, then go into the computer again. It's gonna show up as a connected device called No Name. I click that one and it's gonna be empty. You're not gonna have anything there. The next thing we're gonna do, that is to transfer the firmware file from the computer into this receiver. And to do that, we're gonna locate a file that is called RX in the file name. And then we're gonna have the receiver here on the other side. So I'm just gonna take that file, drag it and drop it. And now it's gonna be transferred over to the receiver. You're just gonna take a second and whenever it's done, I'm just gonna unplug this receiver from the computer. And then I'm gonna get a status on the display here. For me, it's gonna say update failed. And that is just because I'm already on the latest firmware. And then when it comes to the transmitters, take out one of the transmitters. I'm gonna plug in the transmitter into the same cable. I'm gonna show up as a no name. And when you open up the transmitter, you're probably gonna have some files here already because those are the audio recordings you have on the transmitter. Don't care about those ones, just take the TX file, drag it and drop it into the root of the transmitter, and then just unplug the transmitter, and the transmitter is gonna upgrade its firmware as well. Next, we're gonna take the second transmitter, we're gonna redo this process again, just plug it in, wait for it to show up in Finder, drag and drop the TX file onto the transmitter, unplug it whenever it's completed. Now after the update is done, we're just gonna do the same way as we did initially to check that the firmware is actually updated. We're gonna go into receiver, swipe down, go to settings, version, and now we can see that the firmware version is actually updated. And the next thing we're gonna do that is to watch that video because that video is the video YouTube recommended to watch next. So see you in that one, bye.